Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to dive into Python for GIS, Graphical Information Systems. Whether you're a data scientist or just curious about how we analyze geographic data, Python is one of the most powerful tools that you can use for GIS. So let's get into it. Why GIS? What is GIS? Why use Python? Well, GIS is a system designed to capture, store, and analyze spatial data. And it's used in everything from urban planning to disaster management, so many different fields. And Python is popular for GIS because of its ease of use and its powerful libraries like GeoPandas, Fiona, and Shapely. The libraries change all the time, but there's really such a community of GIS in Python that new libraries are coming out every day and the new innovations are coming out as Python libraries. So let's get into looking at how you can use Python for GIS. So let's load spatial data with GeoPandas. This is one of the most commonly used libraries in Python for GIS. So you see we're doing import GeoPandas as GPD. That's a common uh, short form that we use. And uh, here's a little data sample here, or code sample, I should say. So this code loads a data set of world countries. And with dot head, we can take a look at the first few rows, which includes country names, population, and geometric data representing country shapes. Now let's dive into some basic spatial operations like filtering data and calculating areas. I'll use Mexico as an example. So you can see that this code filters the data set to focus on Mexico and calculates its area using the geometry column. This is a powerful tool when you need to compare regions or analyze spatial characteristics. Now, one of the most exciting things about GIS is visualizing spatial data. So there's a way to do it. You can make a simple world map using GeoPandas using gdf.plot. And this code generates a quick visualization of the world map. You can always customize it later with colors, markers, legends, and all that good stuff. Let's finish off with an advanced example where we visualize real world earthquake data. This example shows how to work with point data like latitude and longitude. Okay, so this is earthquake data visualization as an example. And this code reads earthquake data, converts latitudes and longitudes into points and plots them on a map. This is great for anyone analyzing geographic patterns such as earthquake locations. And that's it for a quick introduction to using Python for GIS. We've loaded data, we've performed some spatial operations, and even visualized earthquake data. There's a lot more you can do with Python and GIS, so let us know in the comments where, you know, what, what specific areas you're using Python for GIS what are some good use cases, how you're using it at your job to make money in your career and to advance your technological and software projects. Cool. So thanks for watching. Um, please like, subscribe to the channel and we'll catch you in the next video.